one of the most anticipated characters of all time is coming to Genshin Impact in version 4.6. We're going to go through every single bit of information we have and use it to best predict her kit. In addition, we're going to talk about the trends that Genshin has been doing for Fontaine, whether Arlecchino will continue those trends or maybe start some new trends leading towards Natlin, and what the pyro element needs as a whole, and what would be unique and interesting and what my hopes and expectations are for her kit. Welcome to Jello Impact, where we build and test every single character to help you decide who you want to wish for and build. So obviously we know she's going to be Pyro. And I've got to say, first of all, the design is fire. I think from the back, she looks even more incredible. This sort of skeleton kind of design, almost maybe, maybe this is like scorpion like that's that, you know, because we got the four, the four legs right here and then the tail down her back and the vision is the head. It kind of looks scorpion ish to me. Um, the X eyes, man, she looks incredible. Uh, face Fate grants favor to no one. Only those who would fight, only those who would fight it with every ounce of their being may earn the right to challenge it. I love the fate themes that we've been always had in Genshin Impact. It's such a good motif. And more recently, like pushing back on the fate has been more and more strong. So it's really cool to see that appear here. Name Arlecchino, Tire, Dire Bale Moon. So I think this is the constellations, if I'm not mistaken. What are people saying? And what is a Bale Moon. Did they make this word up? There's something Bale Moon in Pathfinder. Seems like Bale Moon is very attached to Arlecchino in particular. Head of the House of the Hearth, naturally. Pyro, Constellation, ah, <laughs> there it is. Ignis Purgatorius. What the heck is Ignis Purgatorius? Purifying Fire. Uh, unfortunately, Purifying Fire, somewhat generic. The House of the Hearth kind of almost, it's kind of like cult vibes a little bit. Purifying Fire kind of gives me that vibes as well. It's very cool. A bit more information. To this day, Arlecchino still recalls that night when she was first appointed as a harbinger. Up the stairs and down the long gallery with not to see through the windows, but a world of ice and snow without end. The biting wind wailed loudly. Now as mirthful laughter, now as somber farewell. With a start, Arlecchino came to the hallucinations of her memory, mingled with the sounds of real life conversation that surrounded her. The hearth fire burned with vigor, its gentle warmth pervading the room, and its red light glowed on the children's faces, lighting up their innocent, unaffected smiles. If some uninformed passerby were to stumble in at the precise moment, they would surely make the scene before them that for that of an ordinary happy family. But just as Arlecchino raised her steaming cup to take a sip of the scalding hot black tea, the clock began to chime, and within an instant, the laughter and cheer that filled the room were banished. The flames flickered so that for a moment the light faltered, the faces of all present cast in somber expression. Placing her cup back down, Arlecchino stood up and in a calm, measured tone, called out several names. Chaplu, you're with Linny. Retrieve the required intelligence. Foltz, you and Filiol are on guard duty. Stay back and tend to the hearth. Yes, father. Without a redundant syllable, nor a hint of hesitation, they answered as one. Not long after, the fire had dwindled and the house fallen utterly silent, with nothing to be seen but a single shaft of infiltrating moonlight, peeking through a gap in the curtains upon a cup of gradually cooling tea. Yes, father. All right. Unfortunately, not as much to work with as I really would have hoped. Um, sometimes their pose can give us something to work with. She's got no weapon here. We've got the harbinger symbols in the background. I could see her like conjuring fire with these hands in her splash art because this is obviously taken from her splash art, right? Uh, also incredible heels, by the way. It'd be kind of badass if she kicked people with those. I bet you for her normal attack string, it has a kick where she stabs some people with these. She really really reminds me of Esme Squalor from a series of unfortunate events, not the movie version. Yeah, kind of like this with this kind of, yeah, this kind of, this kind of thing, the stiletto heels with the, with the knives in them, epic and the high fashion, etc. So yeah, no hints. Um, let's see, there's no way, let's first see for weapon type. There's like no way she's Claymore, like no shot at all. So pyro, we only have one pyro sword. That'd be kind of cool if she was a pyro sword. Does she look like a sword user? I feel like maybe daggers. It's hard to imagine. Imagine just like straight sword. So I could see like a dual wheel sword. We just had Chiori. That doesn't stop before. I feel like there's no shot. She's a Claymore. There's just absolutely no way. A bow. Um, I feel like she has like assassin vibes. I don't feel like, I mean, bow is not bad. I see, I don't see catalyst. Could we really be another pole arm? I know a lot of people are talking about Scythe and Scythe would be bad. Like she would look incredible 
incredible with a scythe. Would they give us a scythe? They gave us an axe with Navia. I could see them selling us a scythe. I'm not gonna lie, as a pole arm. I could see it, to be honest. Or maybe she, you know what? I'm gonna say she's a sword user. And then for her burst or skill transformation or whatever, it turns, she she pulls out a scythe. Kind of like inverse Raiden, where Raiden is like a pole arm and then she pulls out a sword. I'm gonna say Arlecchino is a sword and then pulls out a scythe. But this is all not, this is, you know, that's assuming she's an on-field character. Will she be an on-field? Will she be an off-field? Like we have an overabundance of on-field pyro characters. I think the thing that pyro, here's what pyro needs burning support could arlecchino be a burning character in the middle of fontaine in this economy i can't see it doubt what is what else does pyro need bennett side grade they've replaced most of the original cast of four stars with side grade characters i think this is possible that this character would sell like hotcakes imagine a bennett imagine an attack buffing off fielder like she doesn't do off field damage but she attack buffs and imagine you can play her either as because if she's a bennett's a bennett side grade right so bennett can be an on fielder imagine if she can be a really competent on fielder and be a really competent off fielder and you have the choice of what to do i i could see that it's way too much to hope for to ditch bennett on my teams in favor of this design but that's something that pyro needs and i could see them doing um pyro needs a shangling side grade i also think this is possible um kind of like a yelan sing cho situation where maybe her pyro application is not as potent but it is but she does more damage and fewer hits so it's easier to do reactions with her with for more like screenshot damage and maybe she has some sort of buff as well instead of just raw damage pretty much exactly what they did with yalan they do with shangling i could really see that to be honest especially if she does use a scythe and then she makes the scythe spin around you or something like that and then also i i don't see them not integrating a little bit of on fieldingness into the character like maybe she's primarily an off fielder in terms of support but you can use her on field i think this is possible uh we also need a burgeon support i'm gonna put it up here i also doubt I don't know. I feel like they're going to wait a while before revisiting Dendro reactions. I feel like Fontaine, they're just not going to release any character with Dendro reactions. Um, one thing we have to keep in mind is synergy with Chevrus. It's been the perfect amount of time since Chevrus uh chevreuse came out and chevreuse is ready to rerun and being a pyro character there's no way that arlecchino doesn't synergize with chevreuse that doesn't really tell us much about her kit because chevreuse can work with so many different types of characters so you know i'm not exactly sure what that would look like like and like a bennett side grade or a shangling side i think a shangling side grade would synergize more with uh with uh with a chevreuse play style what else does pyro need pyro needs a farina compatible healer and that would be into the bennett side grade right so if her healing was a bit wow imagine being a healer imagine being a farina compatible healer that also gave an attack buff that would be insane maybe it's not an attack buff maybe it's a damage buff <laughs> that would make nuvalet so broken because that's Bennett's restrictions, right? They could make her give a smaller buff, but it's a damage percent buff or um, or like a other kind of buff, like a normal and charge attack buff or like some sort of buff, but she also heals. It'd be kind of weird if she healed. She doesn't seem like a character who would heal. But, you know, Genshin isn't really all that into making lore go with the character. So I don't know. I could see it, even though it sounds really scuffed and weird. Uh, uh, Pyro also needs a shielder, five star shielder, but I doubt because we just got Farina. I think a five star shielder will come in Natlin and it'll ha they'll buff and they'll apply Pyro and they'll do off field damage and what and they'll be a shielder. But they won't work with Farina obviously because they won't be a healer. So I don't think that this is gonna come until Natlin though. Yeah, I I can see a potential. I can see potential for healing, but there's no possible way she shields. And then the other possibility is that she's just an on-field DPS. Um, so far, all of our Harbingers have been DPSs, whether you count Just Child or you also count Wanderer, who's not technically a Harbinger anymore. 
summer by the time he was playable the harbingers are dps so there is totally a possibility that she's just a dps and that she has some sort of hp drain you know she works with farina she works with chevreuse you know and she's just another you know she's better than hu tao there's a possibility that she's just another pyro dps which personally i find the most boring although it could very if she is really well designed and she's very fun to play then that would be totally fine i'd be totally fine with having another dps but i feel like i feel like it's just as likely as the other options but i don't want it to be i would like to see one of the missing pieces for pyro be filled in because yeah i mean off field pyro is really a big thing that we're missing and a shangling side grade is what i would like to see and when i say side grade like i don't want them to do exactly the same thing and want them to have differences that make certain synergies stronger and other synergies not as good what other options there she could be a plunge a plunge dps um i'm gonna press doubt if we didn't just get gaming as a pyro plunge character i would think that there's more possibility of her being a plunge dps but i think it's unlikely that she'll be just like like a plunge a plunge dps i'm gonna put this underneath underneath the on-field dps category um hp drain dps possible um melt dps on people are always wanting a melt i would say doubt personally uh vape dps i would say inevitable either she's going to vape her own hits or she's going to apply too much pyro and then farina will vape her hits so it's inevitable um overload dps inevitable there's no way that they don't allow her to work well with chevreuse when they're gonna run her on the banner like there's no way they don't run her on the banner that's gonna be guaranteed what other possibilities are there is there anything else this is what i this is what i see um i think the most interesting by a country mile would be a shangling side grade like obviously burning support Burgeon support five star shielder these also could be interesting i think a bennett side grade also would be interesting a shangling side grade would be the most interesting because of all the new team comps we could make with it and then an on-field dps is always a possibility especially for pyro pyro is like pretty much the dps element like what do we got dps can be a dps not a dps 40% DPS, 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 DPS. Like when I say DPS, I mean on field damage dealer. DPS, DPS, off fielder, off fielder, DPS, DPS, DPS. Like more than any other element, Pyro is the DPS element. And DPS is just the most popular role, most common role in Genshin overall, period. I'm gonna make my call. I'm gonna say a Shangling side grade with the potential for on field DPS as well. That's my my prediction that's what i think we want them we need the most but you know most people when they simp for a character they just want them to be a dps so i could really see that as well let me know what you think i'm really really excited she's one of the characters that i'm looking forward to the most out of fontaine her and chlorand are the two characters that i'm really excited for i'm really excited for chiori as well um man i've got so much genshin has so much for me right now so let me know your thoughts take care bye for now